Access to child care remains an ongoing issue just amplified by the pandemic. Vermont Congressman Peter Welch met with providers around the state virtually earlier today. Local 22's Courtney Kramer joins us in the studio. She was on the call as well. Hi, Courtney. Lauren, Welch says taking action on child care is beyond overdue in the Green Mountain state. The pandemic has just brought the issue front and center. Congressman Peter Welch says the only path forward for Vermonters is one that has universal, accessible, and affordable child care. If there's any silver lining uh, to what our, our, our state and our country has been through, it's that child care, what you've been advocating for, what you've put your heart and soul into, what you have been making progress on here in Vermont, uh, has been front and center. Welch says the American Rescue Plan will bring $49 million to Vermont directly for child care. It would also expand the child tax credit. Families with children six and under will get monthly checks of $300. Those with older children will get $250 each month. While this is a boost for child care providers, they say it's just a start. Staffing is a persistent problem for the sector. Some days are harder than others, and we have had to close classrooms not due to COVID, but due to staffing shortages. I have a classroom I can't open right now. I can't find teachers and um, I, it's hard to find teachers if we can't pay them. According to Let's Grow Kids, there are 800 vacancies across the state's 10 designated agencies, up 37% from last year. Teachers also report unlivable wages and lack of health care benefits. That's why they tell Representative Welch they would like to see payments to individual providers to compensate workers directly and offset struggles of instability in the workforce. These resources really should go to increasing compensation, salaries, retention awards, sign-on bonuses, and I think benefits are also a huge part of this equation. The groups tell Welch that food instability and mental health issues have also become more prevalent among children as a consequence of the pandemic. Live tonight in the studio, Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.